Hi, Eli Peterson with Case IH. We're going to do a quick walkthrough of the liquid calibration on a 1200 monitor controlling a 2000 series early riser planner. A few things that I need to take into account before I do my liquid calibration is I need to make sure that my orifice selection has been defined and it is appropriate for the product, the speed, and the rate that I'm going to be applying. So based on my product density, the average target speed that I would like in my field, and my target rate, I want to shoot for a operating pressure to be at a bare minimum 20 PSI and a maximum 80 PSI. Once I have those orifices installed, then I'm going to go into the display. I'm going to check the work condition, going to the three bar main menu, and make sure that the work condition identifies the active rows on the planter. For those of you that are running split row planters, I want to make sure that I've identified whether I'm running in all row for 15 inch mode or split row for 30 inch mode prior to doing that calibration. Once I've identified that and I have adjusted the valves accordingly on the planter, I'm going to go into the, again, three bar main menu. We're going to go to the calipers and we're going to start calibration. So after selecting our liquid cal, it's going to ask for the work condition that we are currently using. We're going to, again, make sure that that value gets saved to that current work condition. We will start the calibration by identifying what speed and what rate our average application is going to be. So make that as close to field application as possible. Turn on your hydraulics for your alternator to charge. And at this point in time, we're able to turn the system on. Whether you have a tether switch, you can activate the system that way, or hit your manual run. We want to make sure that the system is on and primed, so that way you have an even distribution of product through all rows. And after we have all mechanical obstructions and everything is flowing evenly, at that point in time, we can start our timer. We want to run for 60 to 90 seconds, and preferably we would catch a, at least two rows worth of product. Once that calibration is done, then we can come in here and we can confirm the actual amount of liquid that we have caught. Confirm the number of rows that we caught the product from. And our overall sample time. Again, a minimum of 60 up to 90. At this point in time, if you activate the Cal Adjust Factor, you will see the base calibration value of 100% change to meet the overall calibration. When we hit Next, you will see the status change for that work condition, for that calibration rate, and it will give you that Cal Offset. At that point in time, our calibration for liquid is complete, and we are ready to apply liquid. For more information, please consult your operator's manual or visit your Case IH dealer.